Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh oh, here we go. Today I have a video for you guys, and uh, I actually also have somewhere to go. And by summer, I mean work. And so, before we dive into corporate slavery, let's get into reviewing and demoing these products. These are the Ordinary Foundation. I have two of them. One is the Coverage Foundation, which I assume is the matte finish. And the Serum Foundation, which I would assume it's like a lighter, more hydrating kind of tint. So yeah, I think I'll go with... My skin is actually kind of like moisturized today. So I don't know what I need. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, oh this shit again. I think I'll just go with whatever my heart takes me to, so let's begin. So this is a close-up of the face. We're confronting the face. And oh god, I don't know how my brows got like that. It's usually like very full, but I don't know how it got to this. I usually have like a very full set of brows, but you know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like shedding a bit like this part. So usually I don't really have to fill in my brows. It's just like this little part. But yeah, that we're gonna have to deal with some redness here. So let's begin. My face is actually already like prepped and primed. I've used like a moisturizer and a primer before starting this video because again I'm in a rush. So this is gonna be a very short tutorial. I don't want to be fired or anything. Actually. There you the go, lies. this bitch! The lies. Yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna go in with the matte one. <clears throat> and, oh, okay, so this is like a little click. It's like a little twist and turn situation on the cap. And, okay, so this is the high coverage one. I'm gonna just pump it out like that. Okay, so the coverage one is a bit thicker. It's a bit thicker. I have the color in 2.0N. N meaning neutral, for those who don't know. So if you see colors like N, it means neutral. And if you see colors like W, it means warm. And if you see, if you see colors like P or C, it means cool or pink. So yeah, good to know, right? So yeah, this is just like the consistency. It doesn't feel super thick. It's pretty like watery and liquidy, which I like, which means more spreadability. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and cover up. Usually I go in with a brush and like a sponge afterwards. Just for a more natural sort of beat. But when it comes to like beauty creams and like tinted moisturizers, I just go in with my, my fingers. I love a good finger. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. So I, I like using my fingers every, every once in a while, just saying. Are so good. This is just a very thin layer. It's going on top very smoothly. <sighs> Sorry, water break. I had to take a break from blending to drink water because I just got vaccinated recently. And by recently, I mean like yesterday. <laughs> so like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I need to hydrate a little bit more when I got my vaccine because I don't know I just feel a lot better that way I kind of feel like not say thirsty or dehydrated I felt like my body's kind of like heaty so yeah I'm just trying to like relieve my body from like internal heat so yeah drink more water drink more coconut water straight stay hydrated be nice to yourself get vaccinated protect yourself and others please we don't want another pandemic. Stupid. Anyway, I'm just gonna go in with another pump because one pump did not do much for my skin. I 
really love the consistency. The consistency is doing it for me, y'all. Just gonna go in with my big ass forehead. Like down the bridge of my nose and the redness over here. So for my usual day-to-day -day routine, it's usually just like a light layer of foundation. I go in on concealers because that's where you know, I get most of like the correcting and the coverage from. Oh my god! What is that? Don't mind that. That is actually... That is actually like... in Over in, you know, from where I live, like Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, there's a lot of like these little like motorbikes with like the with the honking sound where they would like sell bread or ice cream at night usually just bread or snacks so it would be like those little like really cute uncles who would just like go on their bikes and just like honk their you know honks and all that and yeah it's adorable So far, so good. I'm loving how it's covering all my redness. You know what? I still have some left over here, so I think you I think you would only need like one pump and a half. So I'm just gonna put the leftover under my eyes and skip concealer. Who knows? This might be my new routine. Basically like my routine is very minimal. I like very natural makeup, very minimalistic. I have a ton of, I have like a fuck ton of products but like I like using them minimally and getting like the most out of my products without actually committing that much to it. That's why I'm always like an advocate. Like if you go to my Instagram, by the way, follow my Instagram and my TikTok and subscribe. So yeah, I kind of just go in with like... Hold up, I lost my train of thought. Fucking disappointed is an understatement. Yeah, I'm like an advocate for like natural beauty and just natural minimal makeup. Although I can really go ham on like certain looks sometimes, I could really pile on a lot. But um, I just like makeup to like accentuate your skin and elevate what you already have rather than just like completely giving yourself a new face. Not that there's anything wrong with giving yourself a new face. I think it's just more, you know, it's like working with what you already have as opposed to like just, you know, wanting to change this every aspect of yourself. And you don't have to change yourself. You just have to work with what you have. Because I sure as hell do not have everything. So yeah. I really love how this is sitting on my skin. It, honestly, this is like two full pumps. I feel like I don't have anything on my face. It's very comfortable and I, it look at how it just, it just erased like my dark eye circles and like it covered up the redness. I'm really in love with this by the way. I think you know my initial plan was was to like like mentally, like in my head, my initial plan was to use the serum foundation all over my face so I could get like a very glowy finish on the other side so that, you know, I know I turn, I'd be hitting that light. And I plan to use the coverage foundation like over like my 
the, the center of my face where the product tends to break up the fastest because usually my t-zone is where it's you know the oiliest but so far i only need this i'm pretty amazed at how one of my packages so what i ended up doing was that i ended up filming like a cover this video like a very quick instagram reels on how to like define your face using a contour and, and to be honest i wasn't with the concealer why do i keep doing that so i ended up using like concealer under my eyes i contoured it to be honest i wasn't expecting much from my draw i basically gave myself the ordinary because i i know the ordinary has like from cut falling for their skincare but I've used some of their skincare over the past few years and I kind of like it didn't do anything for my skin like stiff stiff way for real stiff what it just didn't do anything for my skin in general and the most I got out of their products was their hyaluronic acid and that was pretty much it just saying don't mind but that's just for me. For me. I'm just saying that's just for my experience. But so far, yeah, makeup has been pretty damn good so, so far. So I'm just gonna continue with the rest of my routine and I'll get back shortly. But you know what, that's, that's really none of anyone's business, that's just my business, just saying. Yeah, so I ended up contouring and uh, with budget-friendly products as well. So I used the LA Girl Contour Palette as well as the Rimmel London Powder Contour to like set everything. So yeah, if you see that, that's because I am trying to get really chiseled. Don't judge. Focus on your own eating habits and your own jawline. How about that? I said what I said! I use the Catrice Cosmetics High Def High Coverage Concealer. Really love this thing by the way. It's really it does not budge. If I put it here, like right under my eyes, it's gonna be right under my eyes the whole day. It's not gonna budge. And uh, I also put in like some highlighter top of my cheeks, look at how it's very glowy. I didn't I did not put on blush because <sighs> that's another struggle. So yeah. What do we think? Personally I love how hold on. This is the Oh I love this thing. This is the Maybelline lip balm. It's actually like a balm and a tint at the same time, but it's like really, as you can see, it's really, really pigmented. And it's in the shade Nude Pink. And let me get rid of some of it. Clownery. As you can see, it's actually very natural. So that's what I like about it. And I also ended up like, um, drawing in some of my brows, so that's why it looks a bit more defined and not so like patchy. It'll grow back. I have no idea what's going on with my brows these days. So I actually didn't do anything to my eyes at all. I didn't even use like a subtle liner because I usually just put in like a little like bronzer there and then just like a little like eye liner. But I didn't do that today because I know it's just gonna be a day. Where at the office where I'm just so over it but you know what that's another thing that's another story but I know I'll be rubbing my eyes a lot and I tend to rub a lot, my eyes a lot at the office when I'm staring at a screen all the time so I don't want my eyes get messed up so I kind of just left it bare but I like this look I look very refreshed and awake but going back to the ordinary foundation I'll 
probably use the Serum Foundation some other time. Maybe I'll film another review on this, who knows. But I love the coverage foundation that it is like, it can be like a standalone product on its own. But it can also be used in conjunction with other products. So with this one, like as you saw earlier, like it just went on very very smoothly and the coverage was pretty damn good, if I would say. Yeah, definitely medium to full coverage. I could, like, I was checking into mirror earlier as well. Like, it did, it wasn't patchy, it wasn't like cakey. Like, I could actually build it up and it would still give me that very nice smooth finish. And I find that to be a problem with like a lot of high coverage products. So, I usually have that problem with like full coverage products, like full coverage foundations where it would be very very cakey and it wouldn't be able to like you know spread out as well as it did or like with this foundation like it would just be very very thick and then like i feel like i would like let me give you an example like the fenty beauty foundation like their first ever foundation launch um the soft matte pro filter foundation if not mistaken I find that that did not work for my skin at all. I found that even though it matched my skin tone very well, Rihanna did an amazing job with that. She... Not she per se, but like... I felt like that foundation was so hard to blend and it, it, with this Malaysian heat, everything kind of just like slid right off. So, and even so, like I felt like I couldn't like blend it out seamlessly. Like with this foundation, I could actually use my fingers and blend it out. It was so, like the versatility and the blendability of this product was great. But with the Rihanna one, I mean the Fenty Beauty one, it's, I felt like I had to, I actually did have to use like a facial oil and like dilute it and then only it would spread easily on my skin. And it felt heavy on my skin as well. I felt like, I had product on my skin when, you know, with this product, I didn't feel like I had, I still feel like I had nothing on my skin. And I love the coverage so far. It's a very natural finish. And I don't know, I just can't stop staring at myself. It's, yeah, I, I really like this. This is actually like, I think it was like 40 Malaysian ringgit. So yeah, y'all do the math. So yeah, I'm, this is the final look. I'm just gonna go to work like this and act like I have had nine hours of sleep when that's just not the case at all. So if my coworkers are seeing this, they're probably gonna laugh at me, but who cares? They need, some of them need beauty tips. Like, anyway, anyway, no see no shade. So yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. Like, y'all know, my thoughts on the foundation already. I love how I can use it on its own and, or with other products because it's not gonna act up with other products as well. It works perfectly well with other products. This is like, this is like that girl in the group that just gets along with everybody. And she's good at what she does too. She's not like leeching off of everybody or like making everybody like, she's not toxic to the group. And this is, I like this. So I'm an advocate for the ordinary swimbush. So yeah, stay safe guys. Uh, have a great day or week, you know. Try your best to get through whatever you're getting through. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.